This season on Handsome vs. Predator, we've busted a billionaire playboy that dresses like a bat, a man wearing leopard pants with a ridiculous mullet, and an actual predator. All of them trying to hook up with an anime character. Well today, we're back, and on the trail of another guy with bad intentions. It's a sunny day in New York, and this 50 year old creep thinks he's gonna cuddle in bed with an anime character named Venus. But in a few minutes, 50 year old Tony Stark will find out that this hookup has no happy ending. The text messages he sends Venus are disturbing. He goes by the name Hungest Avenger 69. He calls her baby girl and tells her that if she's Venus, he'll be her fire. He says that she looks like she would smell good. He tells her he likes to be called Iron Poppy. Oh hi, come on in. Hey babe, looking pretty good. Uh, I made you some cookies, they're on the table. F that! Ready to find out why they call me the Hungest Avenger? Uh, I just gotta change my shirt, I'll be right back. Hi, Iron Poppy. How you doing? Good. Why don't you have a seat, right over there? What are you doing here tonight? Nothing major, just gonna watch Iron Man 3 with Venus. No big deal. Are you aware that Venus is an anime character? What? what? She told me she was live action. And how old are you? Me? Me? Uh, I'm 29. Stark is lying. We both know that he's 52. What he doesn't know is that I have all the transcripts from his sordid conversations with Venus. Why did you think it was okay to come hang out with a cartoon anime girl? We were just talking! Yes, but now you're here, this is more than just talk. Just hanging out, I mean she did mention Captain America and like I know that guy, like give me a break, he's so fake. And I just came to warn her, you know, that just don't mess with guys like that and I brought Iron Man 3, the best movie. So you just came to warn her and watch Iron Man 3? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I had no intentions of nothing. Hmm, let's see here. You said on MySpace that you wanted to <laughs> Venus in the <laughs> and <laughs> all over her <laughs> while Thor watches. And then you said, does that sound good to you, baby? My little anime <laughs> Do you remember that? Get down right now! Get your f ass down right now! <laughs> Were you lying to her in the text messages? Huh? Were you lying to her in the text messages? I wasn't gonna do anything. I swear. I swear. The evidence against Stark was so overwhelming that he pleaded guilty to two felony counts. Attempted risk of injury to an anime character and attempting to entice an anime character into an obscene act. I was in the other room, watching on a monitor, and we see this from time to time. The potential predator walks in and just swoops in on the decoy, and it never fails to creep me out. Every time. At his court appearance, even the other Avengers were taunting him. Apparently, even the most super of heroes think that he crossed the line. Maybe an indication of what he can expect in prison. Hey, what's up, Funkheads? Welcome to another random Funko Pop unboxing. This time I got a trade, one from a viewer, one from eBay, and one from FYE. The first one I'm gonna open is from fellow YouTuber Franklin McGinnis. We trade pops pretty often. He has the best Funko news on the site. So go check out his channel if you're interested in that. I'll link it down below. He used a box inside of a box, which is the best way to ship pops. But check this out. This is the Diamond Form Emma Frost. Never seen that sticker before. Halloween Comic Fest. That's really cool. And you know, at first, I didn't like her too much in the pictures, but now that I see her in person, she does look pretty good. 
I think I would have preferred, though, the eyes just be the same color as, like, that diamond form head. But it's still pretty cool, and I think it looks better than the Iceman that's very similar. Um, yeah, I actually quite like this one. The white over the blue looks pretty nice. Thanks a lot, Franklin. Really appreciate it. Very happy to add this to my X-Men collection. All right, this next box is from one of my viewers named Saul. After watching my video where I showed off my Thor Ragnarok collection, he saw that I was missing a pop and he had an extra one and he was kind enough to send it to me. Very nice packing as well, box inside of a box. And this is the Bruce Banner that was exclusive to Toys R Us. Never saw this one in store. And I wasn't planning on picking it up, but yeah, I mean, if I want to complete my Thor Ragnarok set, this is a really cool one to add. So very happy that I was able to get this. Thank you very much, Saul. That was really cool of you. You didn't have to do that, but I really appreciate that. That is very kind of you. And yeah, he's definitely going to look cool with the rest of my collection. Up next, I have a package from FYE. And I'm actually pretty excited to open this one. I've been wanting to look at it in person for a while now. And here is the exclusive Pennywise with teeth. And he looks pretty amazing. It is kind of weird that they decided to make his eyes green and his teeth yellow on the packaging. But not on the pop. I think it would have looked cooler if his teeth were yellow. Although I do like the blue. But... It would be nicer if that was more consistent, but this is still a pretty awesome pop. Let me take them out of the package so we can really check them out. Really appreciate the nice sculpt on this. Of course, the first thing that just totally stands out is that hair sculpt. It's wild and crazy. And that orange color is a nice contrast with the white. And yeah, I mean, look at that face. It's horrifying. Unfortunately, the paint job around the hairline isn't too great, but I mean, it doesn't really detract from the pop because it is so cool looking already. But yeah, I would have preferred those teeth to be a little bit more yellow. Like, uh, seems like this killer clown really goes to the dentist because those are some white, white teeth. But yeah, other than that, I think the paint job is pretty cool. I really, really like the sculpting on the ruffs around his sleeves, collar, and ankles there. Really an awesome sculpt. Super detailed, and I like those kind of grabby, creepy hands they gave him. Really an awesome pop, and he does stand on his own, which is nice. And lastly, I got an eBay package, and this one I really can't remember what it is, because I did order it a while ago and just hadn't opened it, so it can be anything really. Okay, so this guy bubble wrapped it, but it is still kind of loose in here, so it probably bounced around. Let's see if uh, this way of shipping held up. And this is another thing I don't like. If you're going to bubble wrap something, you don't really have to tape it so much. I mean, look at all the tape this guy used. Yeah, definitely be careful when you're removing bubble wrap that has that much tape on it, because you could very easily squeeze your box and ruin it. But this is the Hot Topic exclusive Elvira in her mummy suit, which is really cool. This one's a little different than the original Elvira when it comes to her makeup. I think they did it a lot better on this one, um, even though the body on the original is pretty cool. And I also have the one with the glittery red dress, which is one of my most valuable pops. So I really, really like these Elvira pops. And yeah, I really wanted to get this one. I didn't really see them in store. So I went ahead and ordered on eBay. I believe I paid something like 15 bucks, including the shipping. Not bad. Sometimes these are, you know, three for 20, you know, so they're like, you know, 10 bucks or so. I mean, three for 30. So they're like 10 bucks or sometimes will be a little bit cheaper. They're always usually around 10 bucks. But, you know, I did save myself a couple of trips um, to Hot Topic. I think 15 bucks isn't that crazy of a price to pay for an exclusive pop that, you don't want to keep going back and forth to the store, wasting time and gas to just try to get. 
So yeah, went ahead and pulled the trigger on her and she does look pretty cool. Really like that one too. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, really appreciate you. Take care of yourself and have a good one.